This is Jupiter Today for the 1st of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west, but very, very near its western elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant one, heading east, and moving towards its eastern elongation. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant three, still heading west. At six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And at 6.55 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it'll be from Jupiter in its current orbit. And that distance is 423,536.1 kilometers. By 12 hours UTC, EO is now moving behind Jupiter as viewed from Earth. This blue line here is the line of sight to Earth. And this gray line is the line of sight to the sun. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Europa has passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. And there are two Jupiter satellite events today. At 1051, EO moves behind Jupiter. And at 1342 UTC, EO reappears from the shadow of Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 409 to 415 UTC when Europa occults EO. It's a 6.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.015 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.586 magnitudes. And this is a good distance away from Jupiter, 97.25 arc seconds. And the visibility of this event is all of North America and the northern half of South America. And the second event takes place between 501 and 508 UTC, and that's when Europa eclipses EO, and that's a seven minute event with an impact parameter of 0.076 arc seconds and a nice deep eclipse of 0.896 magnitudes and a very nice distance away, 89.08 arc seconds and Europa and EO are 19.98 arc seconds apart. So this is a very, very nice uh, photometric event, um, photographic event as well, but it would be great to actually get some photometry on this event. So anyone in North America or South America will be able to see this event today. So take a look. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal and spatial connections between the four moons. These are the same orbits that just saw in the previous graphic of the four Galilean moons. And these are just the connections between them. So this is the connection between Io and Europa and Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto, it's a nice sheet there. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine all those and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. And here's just a short movie of the previous month's connections. I'll let that run a couple times.
Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter and looking out, seeing what's going to be happening in the sky of Jupiter over the next 24 hours. Looks like Europa is going to pass in front of Callisto there. There goes Io into Jupiter's shadow. We don't see it going into the shadow, but we will see it coming out as it just did. Over a 24 hour period, Jupiter rotates a couple of times. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. First at 625 and the second at 1621 UTC. There were some new images posted on the internet. some new radio data as well. Very active time in the radio. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, nine minutes, 36 seconds and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 22 minutes, 57.1 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 154.762 degrees, and that's 1.113 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 4.54 degrees, and that's 0.19 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 662,163,125 kilometers, and that's 1,012,524 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 42,188.5 kilometers per hour. And it appears as though they are moving away from one another. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun also is increasing. Today it's 798,709,331 kilometers, and that's 45,435 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between the Jupiter and the Sun of 1,893.13 kilometers per hour. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 20.28 degrees, CM2, 225.59 degrees, CM3, 140.04 degrees. The time of this recording is zero hours 31 minutes UTC on the 1st of March 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to those who are subscribing always like to hear your comments and questions and suggestions and you can send your images to the email shown and until tomorrow i bid you peace